world in which men and women are completely equal is still far from being realized. What we plead for is equality of chance, equality of opportunity. To speak and be heard. Because when unique voices are united in a common cause, they make history. Because until all of us have made it, none of us have made it. Because everything I just said, other women have said before. In 2013, 1973, 1971, and 1915, over a century of calling for equality, we've come a long way. But accepting better than before only pushes truly equal farther out of reach. We need to work, work together, together as, as women, women, as allies. Don't just listen to what I'm saying. Act so I don't have to say it again. What if you could do more of the things you love? And enjoy more of the rewards you've been looking for. At places that let you escape to other worlds. Wherever those worlds may be. Get more with the new Scene Plus. Advice. Everybody's got some advice. Your friend, your dad, even strangers have advice. Hey. Heard about NFTs? Excuse me? Dating advice. Life advice. Quit your day job. You're a winner. It can't be punished. There are books on advice, tapes on advice, even shows on advice. What? An idiot. Thank you. You want my advice? Here we go. What you should do. My right, your left. Quit. What you shouldn't do. Oh. What to eat. Here you go. My thing's coming. I recommend the fish. What to drink. What to think. Feel that it's right there. In a world full of cookie cutter, one size fits all. <laughs> Trust me, I know it all advice. And out. Maybe it's time for a different kind of advice. Advice that comes from getting to know you, not trying to sell you. That understands your perspective before giving you a new one. That's the advice you want for your money. Scotiabank, you're richer than you think.
Good afternoon, fans, and welcome to the Irving Gymnasium here on the beautiful campus of Ross A. Netherwood School. I'm Bill Gibson. You're watching coverage of the Milner Invitational. This is be the opening game action we get coming up. Boy, I'm excited for this one already. The gym here is packed. As you can see, all of the students from RCS are here in the building. The mascot's out. Lots of noisemakers and signs on the far side. Will be RNS taking on the UNB SJ Seawolves. Seawolves play in the ACAA, Atlantic Collegiate Athletic Association, conference I'm very familiar with for my time covering the Tommies of Stu, who'll be here on hand as well for this tournament later on today. We'll talk about them later, but some big changes for UNB SJ, coaching change. Peter Vincent steps away. Paul Vaughn, who was co-coach, moves into the head seat. And Dom Violette, former assistant, with the Tommies a couple years ago. Comes over from Ross A High School, joined the coaching staff. And it's nowhere to go but up for the Seawolves. And speaking of nowhere to, to go but up, very impressed in the warm up here. Athleticism we're seeing on display by both these teams, but particularly the Seawolves seem much more athletic team than they've had in the last couple years. Of course, tough going, the ACAA for them, 0-18 last season. So lots of room for improvement. I think we're going to see that. That record in no way reflects the quality of team that they were last season whatsoever. On the RNS side, of course, several seniors here. Alugo, Irving. Part of the senior class along with Went. We've got Maestro Fresh West, my buddy, on hand. I've met Maestro a couple times this summer. He's going to do the starting lineup. There you see a look at Maestro just in behind the graphics there on screen. One start at number four, Ethan Zamurda. Third year out of the Simon Seabees program here in the St. John area. Aiden Connors is number five. Austin Brunn, number six. Brunn out of Fredericton High School in his fourth year. Jack Fury Miller, number 13. And 23 is Ewan Robertson. And there you have the cheer for RNS. What a great atmosphere to kick off this basketball season for me. Number 15, Berger Irving. Class of 24, six foot seven inch forward. Another class of 24, six foot five inch forward. David Alugo is gonna wear number seven. Number four, Jack Livingston. Six foot one inch point guard on the Nine Mile River, Nova Scotia. Where's number four? Arnd Wasserman. At Annie Ganesh, six foot seven inch forward and number 10. And number five, Zachary White. Out of Bedford, six foot four inch forward. And I just did all that backwards. We did the entire, we're doing the entire RNS roster. So the start of 12, Farrell went. Eight, Glenn, uh, Rainer Glenn. 14, Greg Dorsey. Number nine, John Ikpotakin. He's from Charlottetown PEI. And from Vancouver, via Ross A. High School, Titus Heron.
<laughs> this is what basketball should be. It should be a packed gym every time there's a game played. <clears throat> we are just about set for tip. It'll be Austin Brunn taking the top for the Seawolves, it appears. Greg Dorsey on the jump for the River Hawks. Brun and Dorsey, size here goes to Dorsey, but it's Brun winning the tip to Samurda. Samurda, in my view, probably should have been an ACAA All-Star last season. Kick to the wing, little penetration move off the glass and it doesn't go through for Ewan Robertson. Pulled off Glenn in the front court. To the post for Dorsey. Dorsey against Brun. Nice spin move, baseline move, and good defense by Brun. But he's on the arm. First foul to the Seawolves. It's going to go on Austin Brun, his first, team's first. <laughs> Dorsey clean on the first free throw. Back rim on the second, rebound, taken away by Zamurda. Front court, Fury Miller. Austin Brunn on the drive, he's got a lane and he's hacked by Dorsey. Close quarters here in the Rossay Netherwood Irving Gymnasium. I think we're gonna see a lot of physical play all weekend long. Eight teams here, didn't say that off the top, sort of split into two divisions. UNB, SJ, RNS, in with a couple teams from Quebec in Tetford and St. Foy. They'll square off against one another. And in a more U Sport focused division, UNB Reds, St. Thomas Tommies from the ACAA, and then the two more AUS teams in Cape Breton and Acadia form the other division. Lots of great action here all weekend long. Just join us right here. Maritime Athletic Profiles, where you're watching. Two free throws are good for Brun. Now we're back the other way. Pass taken away on the drive, but losing the handle. That's Aiden Connors. 2-1 Seawolves in the early going. Shot from deep, too strong, rebound Brun. Brun kicks to the corner, that's Connors on the catch. Fury Miller for Connors, three points. Glenn to the corner for Went. Went takes the jump shot. That one's no good. Rebound pulled away by Fury Miller. Fury Miller on the drive, kick corner. Stepping out on the far side was Aiden Connors. 5 1 Seawolves. Don't want to say RNS has got the jitters here in their own gym. Certainly be a little amped up and couldn't help but be with the crowd and the support they have on here in the early going. I'm sure we'll get them straightened out. Long shot taken and there's a three point response from Ikpotakin from Charlottetown, six foot seven inch, class of 25. Robertson for Zamurda. Back for Robertson, looking to the post. 
for Brian, not touched. Glenn with the drive, right to the bucket, two points. Puts the Riverhawks up one, six, five. Robertson for three, short. Rebound for Dorsey. Leaves it off for Went. That drive is knocked away. Long shot missed there by Fury Miller. That's Titus Heron. Quick feet, now nice pass to the baseline. Up top for Went, back for Heron. Shot, clip, shot to beat the shot clock is no good from Glenn. However, it's out off of SJ. SJ says we thought it was off an RNS foot. Inside Dorsey, nice spin. Got to finish that one, you're in that close. Brun on the drive into traffic, knocked away. First subs of the game, checking in for RNS. Seven is David Alugo. And 10 is Wasserman. Robertson from the baseline, rimmed out. Rebound taken away by Dorsey. Looking for Vosserman, but that's taken away on the steal by Zamurda. Robertson with the release. That one also rims out. Tough luck shooting for the Seawills. That's Vosserman inside all alone. And again, they miss the bunny. A couple of those you got to finish if you're... The River Hawks. Of course, we are early season here. Three pointer made Zamurda. Zamurda averaged nearly 19 a game to go along with nine rebounds and three assists. Shot better than 40% from three point lane range last season. That shot is up and rattles through for Farrell Went. Farrell out of Toronto. Seawolves working around for Zamurda. Good hands inside, take it away, and that's Heron. He's awfully quick. On the drive, hands off. Went, draws the foul on the drive. Foul's going to go on Aiden Connors. And more subs for the River Hawks. Ben Dale, number three. Five foot 10 inch guard checks in. And 15, Berger Irving is setting. We'll have our first Seawolves. Sub set to check in as well. We 14, Lance Howlett. And nine, AJ Nash. Went on the line. Second doesn't go down. Rebound Zamurda. Dribbles out of traffic. A little grab of the jersey not called. Connors. Front rim. Rebound to Lugo. Certainly has some favorites in the crowd. Does a Lugo. Subs in for SJ now. That is Nash and Howlett. Connors and Fury Miller to the bench. Nice baseline jump shot, that's good 
for Ben Dale. To the three point cushion. That's out off the River Hawks. Seawolves ball. Inbounded into the backcourt. That's Howlett out of Halifax, Bayview High School. Zamurda way off on that shot. And it's RNS on the run into the front court. Alugo with the miss. Cracks it down but steps on the sideline. 4.04 to go here, opening quarter, opening game of the Milner tournament. Big crowd on hand. Zamurda on the rebound. Back for Zamurda, he had the three, instead he'll drive, get space, Brun. Calmly makes the three pointer, too much space there for Austin Brun. Good ball movement by the Seawolves. Ties us at 11. Dale off for a Lugo. Nice rebound there by A.J. Nash. And it's Nash with the dish to Howlett. But it's a Lugo who skies to send it into the front row. How about David Alugo? Nice rebound there by A.J. Nash. And it's Nash Zachary with the dish White. to Howlett. But it's Class a Lugo who at a Bedford six foot four inch wing player. <laughs> Blocked inside that time where the Seawolves. Now we're going to turn it the other way. And that's Dale on the sideline. We'll have another SGA sub. SJ couldn't get the sub in. Referees didn't see him. Part of the tight quarters here. Tucked behind the table just a little bit. Robertson has another one rim out. Tough shooting lock for Ewan Robertson. Ewan now with the steal. Has Brun with him. Nice behind the back pass. And Brun just goes over the front of the rim for the two points. Alugo is short, front rim. Rebound though for Irvin. Ewan now with the steal, has Brun with him, nice behind the back pass. Calls him going on A.J. Nash. Just goes over. Now the Seawolves will get their substitution. Alex Ariola will check in. Third year of eligibility out of Belize City, Belize. Joined the Seawolves last year via Briarcrest College in Manitoba. Got put up inside by Irving. Partially blocked, I believe. Rebound pulled away by White. Ahead for Dale. Now into the hands of Robertson. Shows off the handles a little bit. Going to be a walk. Can't stop, then jump. Good call by the official. Zamurda didn't think so. Looked pretty clear from where I'm standing that it was going to be a travel. Minute 40 to go here, opening quarter. 13 and 11 Seawolves. Livingstone directs traffic, calls the play. Off for Dor Dorsey. Nice baseline drive, but left short by Livingstone. Howlett up top for Fury Miller. 
That's Dove Kwan on the shot. Didn't see Dove check in. Dove wears number seven, second year out of Toronto. Okay, Brett and Capers have started to arrive here. They're up next against the St. Thomas Tommies. Ben Dale gets the push from Dove Kwan and it drops. What a finish there by Ben Dale. Wow, I didn't think that had Saint any Thomas chance of getting Tommies. to the rim. Be the first on Con. Ben Dale gets the push from Dove Con. Fourth on the Seawolves overall by the look of the board. Under a minute to go, opening quarter. Dale on the make. Con from the corner. Might have got away with a shuffle of the feet there. Rebound ripped away by Dorsey. Works the outlet. Nice lob pass. And what a finish for McPodican. Brings the crowd to their feet here. Answering right away though at the other end. Lance Howlett drains the three pointer. Puts Este up by three. Final 15 seconds of the quarter. Inside for Dorsey. Dorsey gonna finish that one. At the buzzer, the three-pointer goes for Kahn. That's going to be 22-18, UNBSJ after the first. What a fun quarter of action that was to kick off my basketball season. Take a little seat here between quarters to stand for most of the play-by-play. -play. Just some, uh, as mentioned a couple times, some fairly tight, uh, tight quarters here. Oh, some great replays here as well. Great job by the crew. Here we're going to see the alley oop, and what a finish that is! Right into your living room or a mobile device, wherever you might be watching it on. And there we see the buzzer beater from Khan. Gets that to go. Good look at the rosters there for both teams. One scratch I'm aware of for UNBSJ. Colin Lockery not playing today. Colin, a former Stu Tommy. Would have played for Coach Vaughn at Kennebec Cases Valley as well. There's more of the capers arriving. They're finding some seats here in the pack gymnasium. One quarter of basketball behind us. Let's see who's coming out here to start quarter number two for the Seawolves. First it's nine. Pardon me, seven is Khan, 11 is Ariola, 13, Fury Miller, nine is Nash, and 14, Howlett. So the same group of five that finished the first. And it's two, that's Heron on the drive. He's got two points as well. Titus Heron joined by Greg Dorsey, John Ipodikin. Eight is Rainer Glenn. 
and four is Livingstone. Ariola for three. Dorsey on the drive. Oh, I thought he had to finish there. But went back to his right hand to finish that. Didn't go, got the foul. He'll go to the line. Dorsey, good for the first. Second, little round the world before it drops. Three point game, we played about a minute here of quarter number two. Con with a dribble, but doesn't go anywhere. Now picks the ball up into the post. Ariola over Dorsey, I think Dorsey got a piece. On the inside was Fury Miller and fouling from behind, Nick Podikin. That's one maybe you just let the guy go up. Don't try to challenge that shot. You're gonna get called for the foul there in a lot of cases. Really have to pick that one clean to not get called. Fury Miller to the line. That one rimmed out as well. That one is clean. Seawolves plus four. Miss there, Ick Podikin. Shot too strong from Fury Miller. He will undoubtedly find the range. It's a reset on the 24 that didn't happen on time. So we're gonna probably set that at about 22, 21, I would guess, and we'll play on. <laughs> 21 it is. We'll put it in play. Rainer Glenn. Drives, kicks for Heron. Heron into the key as well. Good hustle for the rebound by Ekpotakin. Three too strong from Glenn. Fury Miller has it knocked away. Livingstone trying to convince the official that he didn't knock it out of bounds. Howlett gets the return pass from Nash. Howlett, front rim on the three, rebound Dorsey. Dorsey looking for a runner on the outlet, didn't have one. So instead hands off for Glenn. Dale, Dorsey got a hand on that one. Fury Miller with the loose ball. Out of bounds off the Seawolves. Aiden Connors checks back in. And that is Bendale there, number three. Might have had him mixed up for just a minute with Jack Livingstone, number four. That last trip off the court. Livingstone off for Dale. Fury Miller, one on three, no good. There for the follow up though, is Ariola. Dorsey with the take, blocked. Wasserman on the miss on the put back. Not even sure how he got there on that baseline rebound. Seawolves by six, kick to the baseline. Connors, too strong that time. Wasserman on the rebound. Heron 
for Dale. Into the post. Dorsey again draws the foul. Dorsey's been impressive in the post to me. Everyone knows I'm a sucker for good post players. Dorsey couple maybe should have finished. Good from the line. 28-23. Second one rimmed out, but it's Vosserman on the rebound. Can't get the put back to go. Couple tips up, and the ball's loose on the floor. Vosserman again gets his hands on it. Salugo on the miss that time. Scramble, and finally the Seawolves put a fork in the ball. Fury Miller kicks corner, Kahn. Kahn, baseline drive, now kicked back for Fury Miller. That's a three-pointer off front rim. Rebound to Went. Went, ahead for Dale, back for Went. Wasserman set up low post, entry pass. Uses the body, spins. Good use of the shoulder there to get a little space and get the shot off. Didn't drop, but it was a nice looking post move from Wasserman. Little chicken wing from Brun. On the drive and finish. Nice take there by Aiden Connors. Timeout, RNS. As the Seawolves go up by 7, 30 23. Quiet at the crowd here in the Irving Gymnasium. Take a quick look ahead at what's coming up. On the schedule later today, the 3 o'clock game, as mentioned, Stu Tommies and the Cape Breton Capers. 5 o'clock, a couple teams from Quebec in Tetford and St. Foy. We'll finish up the day at 7 with UNB and Acadia. That's a great basketball competition here today. We'll be back up again tomorrow. We're going to go back to the fourth. 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 Tournament. And 5.30 is to close things out. It's Tetford and the host, River Hawks. All the action right here with Maritime Profiles. Maritime Athletic Profiles, pardon me. Be here all weekend. Assuming the voice holds out and the honeybees keep me going. One of these years, they're going to give me a sponsorship. I keep mentioning them. I just know it. Alugo, too strong. Wasserman somehow again collected the rebound. He must have Velcro on his fingers or something in there. The loose balls just seem to find him. There he is on the post against Fury Miller. Backs him down. Nice post move. Draws a foul. Aaron Wasserman, put seven out of Andy Ganesh, class of 25 player. Ewan Robertson checks back in. It's going to be for A.J. Nash. Nash, second year player out of Newfoundland. Wasserman a little too strong on the first. A little bit right on the second. That's out of bounds. Off the River Hawks, over to the Seawolves. Nearly a mishandled inbound play, but Connors and Brun get it together. Brun keeps. Nice quick hands there by Irving.
run. Backs in, now kicks outside. Connors with the miss. Aiden Connors can shoot it. Well, in this gym from the other side of the half with a whole lot of comfort. Miss there. Jerry Miller with the steal, and he's going to finish with the lay in. And we're going to have a press here from the Seawolves. Now up nine, nicely broken. Left the jump shot short, though. Did Zachary White. Zamurda with a finish. Seawolves now up by 11 and showing pressure. Strong take, but no good. Brun with the push for Robertson, who hands off on the finish. That time Zamurda. Seawolves are off and running here all of a sudden. Pressure game, forcing RNS to go maybe a little quicker than they want to this early part of the season. Knocked away, back into the hands now of Vosserman. He spins, kicks off for Alugo. Alugo finishes off Glass, and Brun picks up the foul as well. Big points there for the Riverhawks. It looks like we're going to have a bunch of subs check in. Heron, Glenn, and Nick Potakin. Nick Potakin check in for the River Hawks. A Lugo on the line. A Lugo completes the three point play, and Greg Dorsey will check in for David Alugo. So almost a full line sub for RNS to get it back within 10, that make from the line. Take by the Seawolves there. Late foul call. Missed the number. Can't tell you who picked up the foul. Timeout, RNS. 321 to go, they're down 10, and the Seawolves be on the line coming back out of the timeout. Folks, if you are watching along at home, feel free to give me a shout out on Twitter at Billsby, B I L L S B Y, B I L L S B Y, or you can hit me up via email as well. Probably the easiest one to give you for email would be late scratches, late scratches at hotmail.com, late scratches at hotmail.com, pardon me, at outlook.com, late scratches at outlook.com. If you'd like to send an email here, rate, to come right to me right here on my phone. Love to know who's watching along at home and from where. Dom Violette running the huddle here to my... Steals, rebounds, rebounds. Number eight on the Seawolf, so it can't be number eight. Seawolf, though, do have four fouls. The bonus situation going forward. 321 to go here in the half. Connors, it's about an 80% free throw shooter last season. Good on the first. Rims out on the second. Nick Podikin on the rebound. Off for Went. The inside for Dorsey. Oh, nice job there. Great pass and good finish by Dorsey. 
catch and shoot all in one motion there for Greg Dorsey. Run with a tough catch inside. Run can't finish. Does get the rebound. Now ball loose on the floor. Lots of players diving for it. It's going to be Aiden Connors who gets a hand on it, but he's out of bounds. The ball's out of bounds. RNS under nine. Big trip here up the floor. So we click toward two and a half to go here in the opening half. Left that one a little short, did Rainer Glenn. Needed a high arcer there to get it up over the shooter, or pardon me, the defender. That lets Fury Miller come the other way to score two. Kick ball, sub. First action of the day, Ewan Wilson. Wilson checks in for the Seawolves. First year out of Horton High School. Get the ability to shoot it from deep. And that's Ewan Robertson off to Ewan Wilson. Back for Brun. Brun. Fury Miller for three. That finds the bottom of the net. Good response there from the Seawolves. After RNS cut it to nine. Three-pointer rims out. Greg Dorsey on the rebound. That's another one that just doesn't quite get finished for Dorsey. Dorsey's a pretty big boy, but just a few more trips to the weight room, I'm sure, over the next couple of weeks or so, and they'll be going down as his season progresses. That rimmed out. Get another sub for the Seawolves. Evan Cartwright. Good to check in. Evan Leo Hayes High School, right in my backyard, practically in Fredericton High. Uh, pardon me, in Fredericton, north side. Oh. Cartwright, six foot five, uses that size to his advantage on the three-point shot a lot. Can play inside, but I know him best as a knockdown three-point shooter. See how he's deployed here for the Seawolves. He's up high. Now he's going to roll to the rim and go through. Fury Miller can't find space. Zamurda. Acrobatic shot, gets his own rebound. It doesn't roll through. Ekpodikin on the rebound, back for Ekpodikin. Tried to get a little too fancy there, I think. Rainer Glenn controls. Now we're going to run some offense. That's Went For Greg Dorsey, Dorsey kicks baseline. Dorsey on the rebound over Ewan. And that's another miss at the shot clock buzzer. That's going to be a shot clock reset. We are under a minute to go. I wasn't sure there for just a very second. Hey, time out. Time out. Time out. They're up 13, 42 29. Just under a minute to go here in. the first half. Some pretty enjoyable action thus far. Good look at the Seawolves huddle. And of course, thanks to Scotiabank for jumping on board as a sponsor for this one. Certainly an interesting tournament. Fun to be a part of. Guest speaker here this weekend doing a little coaching clinic and at the, the banquet to wrap things up, Jim Herrick, and a lot of fans out there will know him from his days at UCLA, University of Georgia won an NCAA tournament in fact with the UCLA Bruins he's in town fans getting back into it here just a little bit trying to give the 
River Hawks some life. And we're going to inbound with SJ. Hasn't broke the huddle yet. But it's going to be pretty, two pretty easy points for the River Hawks. And we're just going to reset that and do that, do that all over again. Seahawks, or Seawolves almost get caught there. I'm bound to say Seahawks two or three times before this one is over. Oh, a lob pass. Tough catch inside for Rick Podikin. Undercut just a little bit by Fury Miller. There you see the call from the official. And watch that lob and just a little undercut. Great replay there from Cracker Jack crew. In bonus, so that will send them to the line. That one gets rim and glass and goes through. A little cleaner on that one. 11 point game under a minute to go, first half. Zamurda on the spin, Fury Miller. Back for Zamurda. Ewan Robertson, Evan Cartwright, Fury Miller. Cartwright on the roll was there. Fury Miller didn't see him. That's going to be an offensive foul called on Ethan Zamurda. Nicely drawn by Farrow Went. Perspiration situation cleared up. For a second to dry. Final 30 seconds, opening half. Greg Dorsey in the post. Back for Rainer Glenn. McPodican doesn't get it to go. Dorsey gets a hand on the rebound. Cartwright corrals it. Off for Fury Miller. That's a head for Ewan Wilson, who drains the three-pointer. Big bucket there for the Seawolves. Titus Heron tries to go coast to coast. We've got a ball on the court. And at the buzzer, that one's gonna go down. Strange uh, way to end the half. Pretty sure we got a replay of that, and there you see it going through. There was a soccer ball, that's it's gonna be a two-pointer to end the half. I thought we were gonna have a travel call underneath, so do most of the Seawolves. There was a soccer ball that mysteriously made its way. Maybe it's a volleyball, one of those two, onto the gym floor just at pretty much the same time the play was going on. Whole lot of things there to watch, and I didn't see the shot. To bring us to the end of the first half, 45-33. I'm Bill Gibson watching coverage of the Milner Invitational here at Ross A. Netherwood School. Come on back for the second half in about, oh, nine and a half minutes or so.
a world in which men and women are completely equal is still far from being realized. What we plead for is equality of chance, equality of opportunity. To speak and be heard. Because when unique voices are united in a common cause, they make history. Because until all of us have made it, none of us have made it. Because everything I just said, other women have said before. In 2013, 1973, 1971, and 1915, over a century of calling for equality, we've come a long way. But accepting better than before only pushes truly equal farther out of reach. We need to work, work together, together as women, women as allies. allies. Don't just listen to what I'm saying. Act so I don't have to say it again. What if you could do more of the things you love? And enjoy more of the rewards you've been looking for. At places that let you escape to other worlds. Wherever those worlds may be. Get more with the new Scene Plus. Advice. Everybody's got some advice. Your friend, your dad, even strangers have advice. Hey. Heard about NFTs? Excuse me? Dating advice. Life advice. Quit your day job. You're a winner. You can't be punished. There are books on advice, tapes on advice, even shows on advice. What? An idiot. Thank you. You want my advice? Here we go. What you should do. My right, your left. Quick. What you shouldn't do. Oh. What to eat. Here you go. Back in the I recommend the fish. What to drink. What to think. Feel that it's right In a world full of cookie cutter, one size fits all. <laughs> Trust me, I know it all advice. And out. Oh Maybe it's time for a different kind of advice. Advice that comes from getting to know you, not trying to sell you. That understands your perspective before giving you a new one. That's the advice you want for your money. Scotiabank, you're richer than you think.
Good afternoon again, fans. Welcome back to Rossi Netherwood and the Irving Gymnasium here on the beautiful campus in Rossi. And Bill Gibson, you're watching Maritime Athletic Profiles coverage of the Milner Invitational. First game of the 12 that go this weekend. It is the UNBSJC Wolves 43 and the Rossi Netherwood Riverhawks Pardon me, 45, and the Rossi Netherwood River Hawks 33 at the end of the first half. Zamurda, Connors, Jerry Miller, Brunn, and Ewan Robertson. Starting five for the Seawolves. For RNS. We've got Went, Nick Potakin, Glenn, Dorsey, and Heron, the starting five, as well for RNS. Two stragglers, I guess, getting back to their benches here. At the end of the half, and it seemed to be just about set to go now. Through Tommies have started rolling in. UMB Reds have rolled in. Okay, Bretton Capers already here, of course. There's Coach Hickey just coming into the gym. Sue Coach, seen there in the red. On the takeaway, this could be a slam here. Oh, what a finish for Rainer Glenn. So I think that was Rainer Glenn. I believe that was number eight. Rebound for Heron. Heron on the push, back for Farrell inside for Heron. And there's Dorsey on the nice catch and finish. Riverhawks come out flying here to start half number two. Zamurda with the answer for three. Heron's got space. Gonna draw the foul on Robertson. Good help on the block, though, by Zamurda. Sends Heron to the line. Back rumor there for Titus Heron. Second one goes through. 10 point game, so good start here to the quarter for RNS. Zamurda, nobody steps in to help. Zamurda lays it in for two. And for Dorsey, picked away by Brunn. Brunn with Fury Miller. Nice finish, Jack Fury Miller, a nice pass by Brunn. Back to a 14 point cushion and SJ with another takeaway. That's Connors. Well, that time I think it's going to go on Heron. Jerry Miller with the inbound. Caught by Connors. Brunn with speed, gets into traffic, draws a bunch, and somebody picks up a foul there. It looks like it might be Nick Podikin. Brun to the line, makes the first. Just listening in a little bit to the Seawolves coaching staff, talking about the difference in the two drives that we just saw there. Explaining that Austin's drive straight to the rim. Jack Ferry Miller's with a little bit of curvature in his approach. 
Couple different results there as well. Went on the miss, taken away by Fury Miller. Fury Miller kicked to the corner for Zamurda. Rebound to the hands of Glenn. Ahead for Went. This little step back for Went. Thought he was going to go for the up and under instead. Just used the step to get some space. Brun gets to the bucket again. Fury Miller on the miss. Rebound Went. Three on three. RNS on the run. Went right at the 10. No good. Rebound for Connors. Connor spins into space. Nice little roll in by Aiden Connors. Hey. Aaron has a couple attacks on the ball, but then they didn't get back in front of it again. Oh, ho! look what I can do from outside, says Greg Dorsey. Give me that space, I'll take that shot. That's a three. Fury Miller on the drive. That's two more points. He might have a little ankle issue there, injury. Yeah. That's Farrell went underneath, flexing that ankle on the court. He'll come off. Ben Dale will check in. 58-43. So it was a 12-point lead. It's now extended to 15 for the Seawolves. or Aranas had it under 10 early in the quarter. Played about three minutes, pretty high scoring quarter here thus far. Dorsey for Glenn, back inside for Dorsey. That one's gonna go down. He's got, yeah, he, uh, he got fouled. He got hacked up around the chin on that one, I think. There you see, nice look inside. Great replay, yeah, no question you got hacked there up around the chin area, exactly. Yeah, see, see Wolves are trying to argue that. I think when they go back and see this tape and see that replay from right under the rim, they will realize just exactly where the foul was and that it was a good continuation to the rim. And it wasn't down on the floor in the dribble. Run with the fake and drive. Better help that time from the River Hawks. Nick Podikin for Heron. Oh, nice fake. That's Bendale. Rainer Glenn gets the RNS fans back into it. RNS team, when you look at their schedule outside of this tournament, not a lot of home games. One home game and a seniors game, and that's about it. Lots of tournaments in faraway places for the Riverhawks. Of course, when you play at the prep level, that's usually what it is, when from around here at least. That would have been a big bucket if Ben Dale had been able to make that side step three pointer. Would have got the fans up again. Instead, at the other end, it's Ewan Robertson who leaves it short. Rainer Glenn, off for Titus Heron. Momentum now on the side of the Riverhawks. Timeout Seawolves, suddenly it's a six point ball game. Leaf from my last mouth, it was 15. Now we're at 58-52, that makes it six. So a nine point run. for the River Hawks. Tighten this one back up. I think that's 527 to go. A couple bulbs out on the scoreboard, so I'm gonna say that's 527 to go here in the third quarter. What was a 12 point game. A little run here by the tournament hosts have cut that deficit down. And again, coming up right after this one, St. Thomas Tommies of the ACAA and the Cape Breton Capers. Out of the Atlantic University sport. And here we see, indeed, 
It was Ikpotikin again on that dunk. I thought that was Rainer Glenn on that finish, but it was indeed number nine. It was Glenn with the pass there out to Farrow Went. Bad, pretty bad. When early season, I get a dunk call wrong, miss what player it is. Clean that up by the end of the weekend, I promise, folks. Back in play, Seawolves up six. Won't say cling to a six point lead, but they have the six point lead. Nick Podakin again put on a show. Oh, hammered at the rim by A.J. Nash, who's checked in. John Nick Podakin was ready for another rim rocker. Instead, it was. A.J. Nash forcing him to make two from the line. And he doesn't. The first one looked good, but does not drop through. See if he can make the second. The lead is now five. Connors for Brunn. Robertson, too strong. That's Titus Heron out of the pack. Somehow that ends up in the hands of Greg Dorsey for John Nickpotikin. Rainer Glenn, outside. Ben Dale, three-pointer. Dorsey got a hand on it. Corralled by Nash. Good look there from RNS. And now Fury Miller will reset. Corner kick for Nash. Baseline drive, runs into Dorsey. It's going to be an offensive foul. Nice charge taken by Greg Dorsey. Nash doesn't think so, but he picks up a couple quick fouls here. His time in the game. Checking in Jack Livingstone, number four. Out of Nine Mile River, Nova Scotia. Six foot one inch point guard. Can't see the reason for the delay. I think we had some moisture on the court. We are getting cleared up. Livingstone on the spin and shot. Another one rimmed out, but it's Ikpotikin on the putback for two. Down to a three-point lead for the Seawolves. Connors with the runner, scores it, and the foul. Foul's going to go on Heron. Can't believe it. Connors to the line, as mentioned earlier, shot just about 80% last year. The Simons High CB, or former Simons High CB. Played for Doug Deering's program there. Doug is always a good person to chat to, chat with. You see him at high school game, always will offer up his opinions. Glenn off for Heron. Uses the screen. Tried to go to the rim that time, but nicely defended by Connors. Now back for Connors. Inside for Brun. Kick outside for Nash. Too strong. Heron on the rebound. Off for Livingstone. Corner three, no good for Rick Podikin. Zamurda is going to pick up the push on Rainer Glenn. Coach Damian Gay didn't like that foul call. More subs in. Ooh, a lot of people moving around here. 
Wasserman is in for RNS. And for the Seawolves. We've got Lance Howland on the catch there and Dove Kahn on the far side, number seven, who have checked in. Back for Brun. Brun on the spin. Oh, that's a nice shot over the length of Ick Podikin. Back to an eight point game. Seawolves with a little push back here on RNS. Important trip here for the River Hawks. Another good look, but it doesn't go down. Shot just missed by Livingstone. Now it's Howlett in the front court for SJ. Zamurda attacks the hoop. Wasserman finds the ball again. Back for Went for three. That one finds the bottom of the bucket and we're back to a five point game. Good quarter here for the River Hawks. Dov Khan harassed by Livingstone. Finally gives the ball up to Howlett. Howlett now forced backwards. That's a loose ball on the floor picked up by RNS. Another lob up for Ikpotikin. Farrell went maybe that time wasn't the right decision to throw the lob. Ikpotikin does get contact, goes to the floor. Subs check in. That is a Lugo who will come in. Foul is called, I believe, on Nash. Looked like a grab. That's one of those ones where you question as to whether that's going to be called an unsporty foul. Referee's now talking about it. One referee says, I didn't see it. Did you see it? Nobody saw it. Get a sub for the shooter. Will be John Ikpotikin on the line. SJ now wondering. Wondering why it was shooting. We are in the bonus, of course. Both bonus lights lit up on the board. AJ Nass, that's his fourth. Needs a lot of time here to get it together and Get a man on the line to shoot. McPodikin gives him time to recover though. He makes the first free throw. One possession game if he makes it here. That rimmed out. Rebounds the Murda. Kick, Con. now Nash. Nice follow by Austin Brunn. The drive by A.J. Nash. I think we're RNS. Nash, four fouls. I'd look to step in and try to draw a charge on him on that take. Three-pointer released. No good, but stolen on the rebound, and that's Farrell Went. Big takeaway by Glenn Rayner, or Rayner Glenn, pardon me, on the rebound. Zamurda on the miss, Wasserman on the rebound. Ahead for Rick Podikin. Step back three. Wasserman on the rebound again, fouled by Austin Brunn. Brunn can't believe it. Said it in the first half and I'll say it again. Either Wasserman finds the ball or the ball finds him. It's one of the two because every time he seems to be underneath the rim, seems to have a piece of the ball or the ball in his hands one way or another. Under a minute to go, third quarter. 
game's tightened up after it was 12 at the half. Now it's two. 65-63. And now it's one, 65-64. Oh no, we're gonna wave that off on a violation at the line. 65-63 will be our score. Violation, full reset of the shot clock that we're calling for now. And away we go. Taken away that time by Glenn. Glenn on the dribble for Went. Alugo on the drive for the lead. Pardon me for the tie. The third try is up and now the tie for Jack Livingstone. Under 20 seconds to go, quarter three. Great quarter by the Riverhawks. Samerta on the take. It's for the lead this time down court. Five seconds to shoot. Glenn cross court, Alugo at the buzzer, short. So the 12 point lead is erased. Seawolves facing a little foul trouble as well. AJ Nash with four. 65 65. And that's going to be a tie. Great third quarter of action, which included me getting a dunk call wrong. Apologies to John Hickpodikin. We see it right here. That's the one I got wrong. And this time into your living room one more time. Hickpodikin on the finish. Zamurda on the take and drive. Inside for Dorsey. He gets one to go down. Shot from outside that goes. And that's why we are knotted at 65. Getting the wave going here in the stands. What a way to kick off basketball season for me. Can't ask for much more than a 65-65 game after your three quarters. Packed house here all the students at RNS. Mascot on hand, we're beating the drum, we're getting the wave going. And the wave from the Riverhawk as well. Set to go for Q4. Livingstone, Glenn, Alugo, Wasserman, and Went for RNS and for SJ. Kahn, Zamurda, Robertson, Ariola, and Connors. Couple of chances for the lead, and it's Wasserman again with the ball in his hands off the rim. Now he's get the catch inside. Loses the Velcro on that time, knocked away by the Seawolves. Couple looks at the lead for RNS to start quarter four. Zamurda on the take. Rebound taken away by Glenn. That is Glenn on the drive inside for Went. Went doesn't get it to go. There's gonna be a foul there. Send Went to the line. Zamurda doesn't agree, having a little conversation with the official. Some 
of that looked a little too much. I think like the SGA team of last year. And it's the lead for RNS. See how the Seawolves respond. Ariola off for Connors. Ariola in the post. He's going to spin. Little push shot there. Rebound and spin move by Alugo. Out of bounds off of the Seawolves. Oh, our first look at the icky shovel shuffle here for the season. The officials do a little mopping up of the court. Clean up a little perspiration. Beautiful day here in, in Rossi. Nice drive through. Well, down Route 7, I guess, and uh, across Harbor Bridge through St. John. My trip down from Fredericton. A couple of big cruise ships and a big container ship in the port. Always good to see as Farrell went. Scores two. I always get a little bit too occupied looking at what's in the port. Of course, when I'm driving across the ever under construction Harbor Bridge. Made it, of course, safely though. Apologies to the traffic behind me. Don't mind those road cones that are flying out from under my wheels. Robertson on the inbound. Lamerda for Connors. Lamerda is going to draw the foul. That's going to go on Jack Livingstone. Titus Heron checks back in. And that will be for Rainer Glenn. Connors gets it back from Zamurda and now over to Zamurda. Fury Miller knocks down a three pointer. That one should put SJ back in front, I believe, by one. My scoring is correct. And now the takeaway by SJ. And back to RNS. Went, can't finish. He went for the. Finish with a flourish. Seawolves the other way. Ariola gets it up off glass. And that puts SJ in front by one. 70-69. Bit of a seesaw battle here. Connors off for Robertson. Robertson, Connors. He can shoot that. Fury Miller on the rebound. It's going to be out of bounds off Fury Miller. Austin Brunn checks in. Timeout, Riverhawks. 7.27 to go. One point game, Seawolves up one. Minder, stay right here with us all weekend long. Action continues at 3 o'clock, Stu and Cape Breton. 5 o'clock, Tetford, St. Foix. 7 UNB and Acadia. Of course, if you're in the area, come on down. Get yourself right here to the Irving Gymnasium on the campus of RNS. Action picks back up again tomorrow at 1, St. Foix and RNS. Cape Breton and UNB at 3, 5 o'clock Acadia Stew, 7 o'clock Tetford and UNB SJ. Saturday, we start early, 9.30, UNB SJ and St. Foix. I get St. Foix on the road back to Quebec pretty early. 11.30, Cape Breton and Acadia give it a go, and then they'll head back to Nova Scotia, I'm sure. The campus battle from Fredericton goes at 3.30. It'll be in Stu, and then it will be Tetford and the host RNS to wrap up the tournament before the banquet tomorrow. It's going to be a 5.30 start for that final game.
Last I heard, there were still banquet tickets available. Give RNS a little, little Google there on the website. See if they're still open for that. If they are, you might want to come hear Coach Harris, uh, Coach uh, Herrick speak. Good take there by Went. It's going to put RNS up one. About seven minutes to go here, fourth quarter. Zamurda, that one is far right. Went up top, shoots it. Front rim, rebound Heron. Livingstone on the take, rebound. Connors ahead, Zamurda, Zamurda with the finish. Dorsey answers at the other end. Greg Dorsey put together a heck of a game here for the River Hawks. Brun, nicely defended by Ikpotakin, and Brun's going to pick up the frustration foul. I think that's going to be four on Brun, I believe. So four on Brun, four on Nash. Six minutes to go here. Podikin off for Went. Oh, ho, ho, ho. little look away pass. Wasn't on the same page as tight as Heron. Would have been a beautiful delivery had Heron been on the same page as that pass. Turnover over to the Seawolves. Fury Miller sidestep, three pointer is good. Tough shot there to be moving sideways. Launch the three, that puts SJ up to 75-73. Glenn on the drive, he's met by a bevy of white shirts. It's gonna go on Robertson as the one who's gonna pick up the foul. Nothing but a CSE Wolves. He drove to the rim on that one. Foul goes on Ewan Robertson, 23. Farrell went going, must have a little blood or something. Officials just told him he needs to go off the floor. That'll bring Jack Livingstone back on, on the line. Rainer Glenn. Glenn at a Brookfield PEI. So a little ski hill there at Brookfield. Glenn with the make. 75-74 UMBSJ. They bring the ball to the front court. Knocked away, that's gonna be off RNS. That's gonna stay Seawolves basketball. 15 on the shot clock. Fury Miller moves there and big rejection by Ikpotakin. Austin Bryan was looking for the foul, got the no call. Someone was there to clean up the garbage though for the two points. I think it was Samurda. See a people stepped in front of me. I didn't quite see who that was. Heron with the mess into the hands of Bryan on the carom. Under five to go, UNBSJ plus three on the River Hawks. Fury Miller on the miss. 
Titus Heron on the rebound. He's going to dribble to the front court. Now he's going to attack. Gets right to the glass. Scores two, and he'll have a chance to tie us up from the line. Too strong. No rebounders there for RNS. One point game. 420, only two team fouls. Might have had someone on the line there. Interesting coaching decision. Fury Miller, clean look, short. Rainer Glenn directs traffic in the front court. Looking for Dorsey in the post, lob pass over the top. It's there, nice finish for Greg Dorsey. Nicely set up, that puts RNS up one. I think that's there for the Riverhawks. Good take by Zamurda, baseline goes by Dorsey, scores two. Puts SJ in front. Braun sitting on four fouls. I'd go right back inside to Dorsey again, or at least think about going in that direction. Try to draw the foul, get Braun on the bench the rest of the game. Or give Dorsey another look. Rainer Glenn on the lean, on the rebound. Seawolves failing to contain the offensive rebounders. Brun off for Connors. Connors picks up the foul. Aiden Connors will go to the line. Been to the line a few times today. Timeout River Hawks, 301 to go here in quarter number four. Boy, if they're all gonna be like this this weekend long, this is gonna be a whole lot of fun. Two point game, three minutes to go in game number one here at the Milner Invitational Tournament. Thanks again to the sponsor, Scotiabank, the, the one you see there on screen as you're looking at some replays. Fury Miller there, and this is gonna be the rejection. I think it is the rejection by Ekpodikin. The make on the rebound. Engaged fan base here. See the Seawolves on the line. Can we resume play. Aiden Connors will be the shooter. Ties us at 80. Seawolves now up one. I would say by the timing on this one, we're already gonna be behind for our scheduled three o'clock start. Still time to go here. We need a regular warm up. So that one's not gonna go on time. Nice move inside by Jack Fury Miller. He's gonna put SJ up three. Rainer Glenn. Going inside for Dorsey, that are, there it is again. I think that's there every trip down the floor. Brun sitting on four fouls, not a lot, a lot he can do. One point lead, nice finish by Dorsey. A nice entry as well. 
working inside for Brun, and now Brun sneaks behind the defense for two. Nice delivery from Aiden Connors. Two minutes to go in a three-point game. McPodican outside for the tie. It doesn't go. Rebound to Brun. That was Rainer Glenn looking to knot us up. Minute 35 to go. Fourth quarter, three-point ball game. Taken away. That's it, Podokin. He's got Pogo, Pogo sticks under him. Loses the handle that time back. For Dorsey, Greg Dorsey. They might have wanted to run a little more offense that trip up the court. A little too anxious there to tie it up. Might be Dorsey off the broken play. Minute 10 to go, Seawolves up three. A score here is really big for them. They don't get it on the first one out of the pack. Is Titus Heron over for Ekpodikin. He jams it on the rim. That's one maybe you'll want to do try to finish that time that he can't get up for. Travel called first on the Seawolves, not the foul. So it's 51-6. Remaining, that's a big swing. The Riverhawk ball on the baseline, down three, under a minute to play, fourth quarter. Well, you never know, this is preseason action. First tournament of the year. We're right down to the wire. What more can you ask for? Glenn on the drive, looking for the kick for the shooter. Knocked away, and it's Austin Brun who gets his hands on it. Back for Ewan Robertson. Up for Austin Brun. You got a pressure now if you're RNS, they do, and they're going to send Connors to the line. That's not the guy you want to go to the line. He's an 80% free throw shooter, maybe even a little better than that here this afternoon. Not yet in the bonus, so that's, that foul's not going to hurt from the free throw line. Going to leave 17 on the shot clock. Going to inbound into the hand of Connors. Back for Fury Miller. For Austin Brunn. Fury Miller. He's going to drive. Offensive foul called on Jack Fury Miller. Nice charge taken. I think that's Dorsey again who takes the charge. What a ball game from Greg Dorsey. Team is down three. To give the ben referee the benefit of doubt in that one, he's closer than I am. I think Dorsey may be fortunate to have drawn the charge on that one. So the River Hawks. The chance to cut into the lead. They'll have the ball coming off the charge. 26.1 seconds on the clock here in the quarter number four. And of course, we are now at 241. So our three o'clock game, not going to start at three o'clock. We probably get another few minutes left of this one, assuming it doesn't go into overtime. And then I'm, su I'm sure we'll get a couple minutes to clear the benches and a 20 minute warm up. So we're probably right out of game one here. 10 minutes or so off the schedule. That's quite okay. Any day out of the office is a good day for me. Happy to be here all weekend long. And of course, thanks to folks at my employer, Verosource in Fredericton, who are ever so accommodating to me to allow me the flexibility to take time off to come to events like this, where I spend my vacation time, my, it's not free time, but my extracurricular time is doing things like this. So for the Seawolves, Nash and Brun each have four. Connors also on the court, Fury Miller and Zamerda. Ewan Robertson just moved up here to the front of the bench. Could be an offensive defense substitution situation for RNS. 
That's Titus Heron with the ball. In for Dorsey, Dorsey on the dribble. Looking for Rayner, Glenn, Glenn controls the ball. Now for Heron who shoots the three pointer. That would have tied it up, big hustle here for the rebound. Called out of bounds off of our nest, and here it is, he's the offensive sub substitution coming in, Ewan Robertson will sub in. I was just hoping someone was gonna catch the ball and the players that were come bounding in this direction. There's not really any place to jump out of the way here. Nothing but a brick wall behind me. Timeout called and again, it's Coach Violette. The clipboard in the huddle, or the marker board in the huddle, if you will, for the Seawolves. Pretty sure we'll see the Seawolves advance the ball. Coming out of this timeout, so likely be inbounding in the front court. That'll be my guess. Great look at the crowd here from RNS, and they've done stellar work all afternoon supporting their Riverhawks. Certainly right down to the wire here. They're not giving up in a three-point game. Tied at 65 at the end of the third quarter after being down 12 and a half to the Seawolves. So we do advance to the front court and bounding on the far side. That's gonna be Zamurda, Ethan Zamurda. Finds Jack Fury Miller guarded by Tyson Heron who gives the foul against Fury Miller. Fury Miller played last season at UNB. Of course a couple seasons ago was part of the Seawolves team. AJ Nash in for Ewan Robertson. Of course now the defensive sub. We did see the offensive defensive situation. Big free throws here for Jack Fury Miller. Misses the first. Still life for the River Hawks with nine seconds remaining. Big rebound here if he misses the second. SJ only has one rebounder on the line. It's Brun. Of course, they are up three. Second one is off, but it's off of Brun out of bounds with 6.6 .6 to go. Fury Miller misses them both. You're not going to see that very many times. This is preseason. Jack Fury Miller, outstanding shooter. He's got a little tight there at the line that time. So timeout. See what Coach Day can draw up for the Riverhawks in the huddle here with 6.6 .6 to go. Need a three-pointer to tie, so at this point, you pretty much have to play for the three-pointer, I think. I think it's a bit of a wishful thinking to try to go for the two and the foul. Probably not going to get a shot up quick enough to trade free throws and get a chance to do it again. So I think with this point in time, you're drawing something up for a three-pointer. That's my guess. Call for no fouls in the SJ huddle. What a way to start out this tournament, right down to the last 6.6 .6 seconds. Game still in balance here, and a big cheer from the Riverhawk faithful. They look to get behind their team, and RNS is going to advance the ball out of the timeout to the front court. My guess on the shooter here is the inbounder, Farrell Went. Let's look for something kicking the ball back to Went. Maybe coming off a screen that we're going to see Dorsey set up here up high. Is went with the run to the corner. Taken away by A.J. Nash, and that's going to run timeout. Not a great pass there, and nice run out by A.J. Nash. So this one is going to end 85-82 in favor of UNBSJ. So they hang on to the Seawolves. They pick up a win here. At the Irving Gymnasium against RNS. What a battle RNS put up to being down 12. Great third quarter, tied it. Had opportunities here down the stretch to take the lead. Couldn't execute quite on that last possession. 
to get a look. But have to, have to like the fight in the River Hawks. They, of course, will play again tomorrow, same time slot, against St. Foix, the Dynamique. That's a quick Quebec City area team in for the tournament as well. So that's going to be fairly exciting. We'll hang on here. I'm sure we'll get a player of the game. I'm just going to look to producer here to my left side to see if we're doing player of the game interviews after. Coming up next, right at, well, it won't be right at three, but the next game, the three o'clock game slot. Tommy's in the capers. Should, should be a lot of fun. So we do have player of the games being presented here. We're gonna have Coach Salerno, I believe, join me at some point here between games for an interview. I think we're just gonna do a player of the game presentation, so we'll stay right here for that. The player of the game presentation, the Seawolves are lining up. I'm guessing it's probably Zamurda for, for UNBSJ, that's my guess. Instead, no, it's Austin Brunn, number six, gets player of the game. And do you go with Hickpotican? Do you go with Dorsey? I liked what Dorsey did this game for the River Hawks. Where the game was Austin Brunn, but he's good there. So I think that's going to wrap us up here for game one. So again, going to check with the producer here. See, we are going to do a player of the game interview. All right, so I'm just going to, yep. We're just going to grab another headset here quickly, get set up for a player of the game interview with Austin Brunn. Just hold on momentarily. We'll buy some time here. Game clock here, the warm-up clock is already running, 18.30. The Tommies are making their way to the court. Capers are already well into their interview. Uh, pardon me, into their warm-up. We're getting set here for the interview with a second headset. I'm guessing. Producer Clark here, you're going to want me on that side of the table. We'll let producer Clark get there to the other side. Give us the thumbs up. Okay, hear you. Thumbs up or there. You're gonna have okay, to just look, just look over here. Maybe just take one uh, okay. one ear pod off there. Uh, joined now by player of the game Austin Brunn. Austin, tough battle here. Yeah, very tough. Uh, very good squad. RNS. Uh, you know we, we weren't sure what to expect coming in, but uh, they really showed us a tough battle and. A lot of fun. And you guys, of course, have got some changes in your program this year. Coach Vaughn yep. uh, from the co-coaching seat or whatever that situation was uh, with yeah. Peter Vincent steps in. Dom Violette joins the coaching staff. Some new blood in, forms of, in terms of players. Team looks a little more athletic this year to me. Is that true? Yeah, it's, uh, Coach Vaughn uh, did some good uh, scouting and got a lot of athletic tall bodies for a change. And uh, yeah, it's just a fresh new offense, fresh face for UNBS Day, and we're hoping to do a lot of good work this year. Yeah, I, I said earlier, the, you know, your record last season, and we, do, we don't have to say what, what the record was, yeah. but your record last season, in my view, not indicative to how close you played so many teams. Yeah. You know, every time I watched your games, it was a battle. You were in a lot of games um, that you could have won and, and didn't yeah. um, last season, so this season – a little bit of difference, a little bit more athleticism, a little different focus. Um, certainly adding Dom Violette, I know he's just a brilliant mind on the bench. I'm yeah. not sure you've seen that side of him yet. But I noticed today he was running a few few of the huddles here this afternoon. Yeah, uh, Dom's been great so far. You know, he's got a lot of experience and uh, brings uh, something we haven't had at UNBS Day for at least so long. I've been there. And, uh, yeah, he's been great. Uh, Last year, those tough games, uh, they're, I think they get us ready for this year, honestly, you know, losing by like three or the last ten games, so. Yeah, and you're you're out of Fredericton, of course, my hometown, our, yep. our hometown, I our guess. Our hometown. Um, 
at, at a FHS, come into a facility like this here for this tournament against a, a prep school team. That's a little bit different than the, the you know the, the experience you had at high school. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Like when I played RNS in high school, they were not anything like this, and they've uh, definitely you know made a jump from when I played them in high school. Because it's impressive to see, and it's nice to have around here for sure. Uh, it, it is impressive, and a, and a full gym here. Uh, hopefully, we see that the rest of the, the rest of this weekend. Uh, we'll wrap it up there, but you know, great performance today. Thank you. I know you had a fighting a little foul trouble there yeah, at the end. Didn't like a few of the calls, but. That's uh, the way the ball bounces sometimes. Good luck the rest of the tournament and good, good luck the rest of the season. Thank you very much. Austin Brun from UNBSK. Thanks, folks. Going back for the next one shortly.